Hello my lovelies, it's Azena, and today I want to show you how to simplify expressions where you have a minus in front of your parentheses. We're going to take a look at these three examples together, so let's start with the first one. We have a minus right in front of our parentheses, and we want to get rid of the parentheses here, so we have to apply this minus to each element inside the parentheses. I have to apply the minus to my 3x here, and I have to apply the minus to my negative 4y. Let's do this. What happens then? Well, I won't have parentheses anymore because I'm going to apply this now. And if you have a minus in front of your parentheses, then this means that you have to change the sign of each element inside here. So I had 3x, so I had positive 3x. Because of the minus, I get negative 3x as a result. And the same thing here with the second element. I had negative 4y. Because of the minus, I have to change this sign and I get a plus 4y. And that's it. Why is it that this minus here changes the signs? Well, you can always write a minus as a negative one that is multiplied by your parentheses. So instead of just having a minus here, you can write it as this and maybe it helps you a little bit more to understand that you have to multiply each element by a negative one. And negative 1 times 3x equals negative 3x. And negative 1 times negative 4y equals plus 4y. Okay, let's take a look at the second example. We have minus x, minus, and then we have these parentheses. We want to get rid of the parentheses and we have a minus in front of them. So, same thing, we apply the minus to each element inside my parentheses. The negative x here in front has nothing to do with my green part here. So I just write the negative x down. And now, what have we learned? We have to change the signs of each element inside here. So instead of my negative x, I get a plus x here. And instead of my negative y, I get a plus y. No parentheses anymore. Now I can simplify a little bit. I have minus x plus x, which cancels out. And only my y is left in the end. Last example. Okay, lots of things going on here, but overall we have a minus in front of these big parentheses here, but this time inside there are more parentheses. And I would suggest before we apply this minus to our big parentheses, I want to get rid of the parentheses inside first. So I'm not going to apply this minus to the big parentheses yet. I just write them down like this. We take a look at that later. First, I want to get rid of these first parentheses. How can I do that? Well, I take a look at what is in front of my parentheses. There is nothing. So it is just a plus standing here, which I don't have to write down. But as soon as you have a plus in front of your parentheses, you can just leave out the parentheses without changing anything. So I don't have to write down these parentheses at all. I just take everything that was in there, the 2x and the negative 3, and write it down without the parentheses. Same thing here with our second parentheses. We have a plus in front of them nothing else. So we can just leave them out. It's also important that there is nothing behind the parentheses. So if you have a times three here maybe, then you have to take care of that as well. But like this, if you just have a plus in front of them, there is nothing behind them, you can just leave them out and write everything down as it is without changing anything. Okay, 
no parentheses inside our big green ones anymore. Uh, before we apply the minus, though, I would simplify the things inside here a little bit. So we write down our big parentheses still here, the green ones. We're going to take a look at this later. And inside we have 2x and we want to subtract 9x. My result is going to be negative 7x. Why is that? Because I have to calculate 2 minus 9. And if you're not aware how to do this, you can always look at it like this. I start at my 2 and I want to subtract 9. From my 2 to my 0, I'm going to subtract 2 and then I have to subtract 7 more to subtract 9 in total. So I will get to negative 7 as a result. And this is my negative 7x. And then the numbers negative 3, negative 1, I get a result of negative 4 with the same method. Okay, now. Let's apply our minus here in front of the parentheses. We learned we have to change every sign inside. So instead of my negative 7x, I'm going to write down a 7x. And instead of my negative 4, I'm going to write down a plus 4. And that's it. I hope it helped you. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. I wish you a wonderful day and I hope to see you in one of my next videos. Take care.